welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how to find statistics on the Texas Instruments TI-30X2S calculator. To do this we'll be using the second function key located here, the data key with the second function of stat located here, and the stat var key with the second function of exit stat located here. To get started, we need to change our calculator into statistics mode. To do this, we use the second function, data key. It will bring up this screen. And we, since for this example we'll be using one variable statistics, we'll select one var. Enter. You can see at the bottom of the screen it says stat. This means we're in statistics mode in the calculator. Alright, now we want to enter our data set. For this example, we'll use this data set here. These can be distance measurements or weights or whatever we're calculating statistics for. So, to start entering this data, we have the data key. We now see x1 equals. This is asking for our first piece of data. Well, our first one is 10, so we enter that and then press the down key. And now we see FRQ equals 1. This is asking for the frequency of that piece of data or how many times it occurs in the data set. Since our 10 occurs twice, we can change the frequency to 2. This way we don't have to enter the 10 multiple times. All right, press down. X2 is asking for our second piece of data or our second unique piece of data. And we press 20 because that's it down. FRQ equals 1. Well, 20 only occurs once, so we're good. Down again. X3. That's 60 in our data set. So, there we go. Down, and we get frequency of 1. That's correct. So, we have our data set entered now. If we want to run the calculations, we press data again. You can see the word calc appear on the screen there briefly. That tells us the calculator is running its calculations, and once it's disappeared, back to the blank screen, we know the statistics are ready. To view them, we press the stat var key, and that brings up this screen. This displays all the statistics we have. So, first one is n, or the number of variables in our data set. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's correct. Next one over is the mean. So that's the mean of all of our variables or pieces of data. For this one, it's 25. Next, we have our sample standard deviation with the large sigma x. And then the population standard deviation with the small sigma x. And then the sum of all of our variables. 10 plus 10 plus 20 plus 60 equals 100. Yep, that's correct. So that's everything added together. And then the sum of the squared variables, or sum of squares. All right, that's all the data we get from this calculator. Now, if we're done with this and want to go back to our regular calculator mode, we press the second function key, stat var, which second function is exit stat. That'll bring up this screen. Exit st, yes or no. Since we do want to exit it, we press the Y, enter, and you can see the STAT at the bottom of the screen is gone. This tells us we're back into our regular calculator mode. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there.